So I've been using this white crown, which is just a, probably some crappy like oil-based thing, but it's from I think a Halloween kit for clown makeup or something. But I use it just in highlights, parts of my face that really kind of need it or that get red, and I just kind of like draw it on there. And then what I use is uh, Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in Light Zero to kind of blend it in and cover up my face. Sorry, I did one side. Um, and then the, the crown just like makes some nice highlights because my skin's a little uneven. And I put it all the way to the edge. Primer's really good for keeping an even tone up there, but I don't buy primer because I don't have money, so cover up will work. Nice thick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got this brush. This is like 263 brush or something from MAC Cosmetics. Um, Lots of new MAC. $20, which was kind of a lot for a brush, but it's kind of the only variation I'll use, so I'll use this brush every day. Um, and their cream eyeliner uh, fluid line in Black Track. So what you want to do is take a little bit of it. It helps to be a painter. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Use my pinky, and then I'm just gonna kind of go in from almost close to the the corner of my eye and make like a a nice clean lash line. It's the part, not the like, as in comparison to the waterline on the bottom of your eye. It's the part that the eyelashes actually grow out from, not above them. You have to get it inside the lashes so it doesn't look like scary or like a doll or something. So that's a really like natural, nice eyeliner look, but we're going out, so I'm going to actually make myself look kind of scary. <laughs> but if not, that's that's like a really nice everyday, like just a little bit of liner if you don't like to put it on the bottom. Um, just wear that out. I don't really have black eyelashes, so it looks nice when I wear that on the top because it makes my eyelashes look darker. But I'm going to go a little bit above. I kind of have too much on my brush, actually. That doesn't look bad. I'll fill it in. And just kind of pull it awesome. out really lightly. You can see how nicely that brush does that. Totally worth it because I am a painter, but it's Lines. pretty easy Perfect. to do. Believe me, you can do it. The Christmas present. So here's Holly's other eye. Look how perfect that line is. I know these brushes are great, right? Very nice. Awesome. Let me go under again. Okay, cool. This eyeliner is like a great investment. It's 15 bucks. I love it. I'll probably like keep buying it over and over again because it just, it stays on really well. It's like waterproof and smudge proof and it looks fucking great and it's black as shit. So, okay, now I'm going to actually put on some lipstick. And then I'm going to use this MAC eyeliner, pe uh, MAC lip liner pencil in mahogany. Um, especially being pale, if your lipstick bleeds, you really should use a pencil. And you don't want to go too far out of your actual lip line, but right on the inside of it. Because otherwise you look like you had plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> like what trash. Um, I'm also going to fill in a little bit with the pencil to give the lipstick like some, some darker shades. And so it's something to grab too. Mm -hmm. Like is it, it's like a, a primer for your lips and it'll stay on longer. I know people that change the shape of your lips though, which you can do with lip liner. Yeah, you totally the can top do. Shade when I went to the Max store, she made my lips like really pointy and it looked kind of nice, but not my thing. But um, if you have a really skinny top lip, you can always go a little bit on the outside. Not too much, but a little bit so that it, you can just fill it in with the lipstick and then look a little bigger. I think people forget like your real lips aren't really perfectly symmetrical, so mm -hmm. don't draw them on too perfect because it looks dumb. This is where it's really important because this is where 
My lipstick always bleeds into my face. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're drinking or eating or smoking, so. But what's good is if you bring your concealer with you, then you can always run to the bathroom and just put on concealer. Instead of trying to wipe off the lipstick underneath that bleeds, you can just put concealer up until your lip line. And it'll just redraw it on there from the outside. Okay, so I know that's a lot of lip liner, but I like this shit dark, so the next thing I'm going to use is MAC Pro Longwear Lip Cream. Um, I think it was called Blackened Brick Red, but on the thing it just says like A50. Um, it smells really good and it's really soft. My sinuses are squeaking. <laughs> Okay. I usually put blush up here, but um, it's like a, not a peachy color, so it's more dusty, so I'm going to put it in the shadow of my cheekbone instead of on the highlight. I'll just make your cheekbones look... Make me look Higher. skinny. Make your face look thin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to blend it all the way up the sides of my face because I'm going to put my hair down. And it's going to just give like a nice shadow to my face. And a little bit actually on my eyelids. Because I'm so pale. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Pretty. Mm. Just got mascara all over my face. Mm. I kind of just let my hair dry out of the shower too. So. Alrighty.